As you drive down the road, make sure you pay close attention to the speed limit signs. They're designed to save lives by reducing risks that could cause collisions. That's why it's important that you don't exceed the posted speed limit. It's also illegal. Speed limits are based on ideal road and weather conditions. You need to take into consideration the number and speed of other vehicles on the road, the type of road surface, is it smooth, rough, wet or dry, and whether it's raining, foggy, snowing, windy or dusty. Use common sense. If you approach a hazard, encounter heavy traffic or bad weather conditions, slow down. This will improve your ability to take evasive action safely, but hopefully you won't find yourself in that situation. When road conditions are good, you should not drive much slower than the cars around you. Impeding the flow of traffic is unsafe, and doing so could get you a ticket. Remember, slower traffic should stay in the right lane so others can pass. You may notice speed limit signs may not be posted in some residential areas, business districts, and school zones where children are present. Even if there is no posted sign, these areas still have a mandated speed limit of 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. In intersections with limited visibility, where it's difficult to see from side to side, the speed limit is 15 miles per hour. This also includes alleys and railroad crossings. Remember, you must obey the speed limit signs. If you're caught breaking the law, you'll pay a hefty fine, the offense will appear on your driving record, and your insurance rates could go up. So, drive safely and make sure you study the California Driver Handbook.